Job Role of a Lab Chemist, Rubber Job Role or Responsibilities of a Lab Chemist, Rubber is very important in the rubber manufacturing industry. Details of a lab chemist's duties are Draw a sample of the material from the lot to be tested as per standard operating procedures, SOP. Sampling to be done as per the process flow sheet with control points. Identify the sample by labeling or numbering as per SOP and recording in the logbook or PC and assigning a sequential local lab number. Inspect the sample for visual defects including contamination with foreign material etc. and approve the sample dimensionally. Ensure that sample is suitable for test or analysis. Process samples should be collected after the process is established not from the beginning of the process started. Identify the defect or problem in an inappropriate sample. Job role of a lab chemist, rubber. Continued. Identify factors that affect the integrity of a sample, for example temperature, moisture, contamination, contact with liquids. Ensure samples are well protected and are free from picking up any moisture, foreign matter, etc. Maintain the integrity of the sample as per SOP. Identify and store samples for future or further testing as per SOP. Identify the most appropriate equipment for testing as per the SOP. Set up appropriate equipment or apparatus to be used for testing correctly as per SOP or IS or ISO or international standards. Dispose of the leftover samples appropriately as mentioned in the SOP. Job role of a lab chemist, rubber. Continued. Calibrate or verify or validate the testing equipment periodically as per SOP and C monitoring sticker is available in respective equipment. Identify defective equipment or apparatus and steps to be taken as per SOP. Ensure health and safety in the laboratory. Ensure availability of safety accessories including eye wash station. Ensure the availability of raw materials or laboratory reagents material safety data sheet, MSDS, in the laboratory. Ensure samples and chemicals are carefully handled to avoid accidental spillage of chemicals. Comply with health, safety, environment guidelines, regulations, etc. in accordance with international or national standards or organizational standards, SOP. Expectation from a lab chemist, rubber. The individual would be conversant with following. Companies' quality policies and acceptance standards for raw materials, processed and final product. Organizations of National and International Coding System of Raw Material, Compounds, and Products. Chemicals used in the industry and their function including MSDS. Different quality management systems. Principles of good laboratory practices applicable in the workplace. Material disposal procedure. The importance of appropriate disposal of material and implications of not following the material disposal procedure. Importance of identifying non-conforming products and storage of the same. Expectation from a lab chemist, rubber. Continued. Risk and impact of not following defined procedures or work instructions. Escalation matrix for reporting identified issues. Types of documentation in the organization and the importance of the same. Records to be maintained and implications of non-maintenance of the same. To obtain the manuals prepared by the company and usage as references as and when required. Health, safety and environment guidelines, legislation, and regulations as applicable. Apart from the above, the individual should have knowledge of the following. Handover or takeover of the equipment of the work area as per the company's SOP. Expectation from a lab chemist, rubber. Continued. Quality and damage checks to be done and the importance of the same. Importance of housekeeping and good shop floor practices, for example 3S or 5S. Personal protection which protective equipment to be used and how. Impact of poor practices on health, safety, and environment. Potential hazards and actions to minimize the same. Escalation matrix and escalation procedure for reporting hazards. The usage of different fire extinguisher. Impact of various practices on cost, quality, productivity, delivery, 
and safety. Basic chemistry and simple mathematical calculations. Expectation from a lab chemist, rubber. Continued. Different standard reference from national and international material. Role of different raw materials in rubber compounding, processing or product manufacturing, and performance. Understanding of the role of the testing equipment including setting. Testing equipment and related test methods and purpose of tests. Calibration requirements for test equipment. Procedures for storing samples. Specifications of materials tested and its importance in the release system. Expectation from a lab chemist, rubber. Continued. Preparation of standard chemical reagents for testing. Specifications of materials tested and its importance in the release system. National or international standard test methods for different materials. Preparation of standard chemical reagents for testing. The standard method of drawing samples and preparing them for testing. How to assess whether a sample is suitable for testing. Methods or techniques used for labeling samples. Procedure, SOP, to be followed in case the sample is unfit for test. Skills needed for a lab chemist, rubber. The individual should be able to Record and communicate details of work done to appropriate people using written or typed report or computer-based record or electronic mail. Maintain proper records as per given format. Read and understand manuals, health and safety instructions, memos, reports, job cards, etc. Read images, graphs, diagrams. Understand the various coding systems as per company norms. Communication with upstream and downstream teams. Communicate with job owners like sample originating section, supplier, etc. Work in a team and other behavioral skills required to support the small group activities, for example quality circle, cross-functional team, suggestion scheme. Skills needed for a lab chemist, rubber. Continued. Communicate confidential and sensitive information discreetly to authorized person as per SOP. Take a decision for any change or issue based on earlier successes on similar issues. Work out changes in case a new improved machine or equipment is added in the process or any new material or chemical is developed replacing the existing one. Make changes in process cycle time due to the improved processes. Use the standard operating procedure or troubleshooting manuals for troubleshooting and other reference documents approved by plant management. Consult the peer group and superiors to arrive at a favorable decision. Use of standard available problem-solving techniques for decision-making. Skills needed for a lab chemist, rubber. Continued. Review and analyze the process steps to check on system non-adherence and non-conformity. Review the current SOP and other standards for continuous improvement to facilitate decision making. Take a calculated risk with minimum losses. Organize samples and records properly. Communicate results as per the organizational procedure. Perform analysis in the given timeline. Match customer needs or specification by adjusting the processing conditions. Interact with the customer in case any clarification required. Ensure that performance of his action or operation or activity does not lead to any divergence from the specified quality of the final product as required by the customer. Skills needed for a lab chemist, rubber. Continued. Complete the assigned task in a timely manner so that the final product is delivered in the timeline given by the customer. Communicate effectively to the superior or customer for any delay in supplies to the clients. Work towards fulfilling the customer's requirements as per their demand. In case of any complaint, ensure its timely resolution if the problem is emanating at his level. Communicate effectively to the superior or customer for any delay in resolving the problem faced by the customer. Maintain good or cordial relations with customers. Work on the feedback received from customers regarding the product.